Hey everybody, this is Chris from IBN Sports Wrap here with your Fantasy 5. Every week we're going to come at you with a 5 minute or so video on Fantasy Baseball, your studs, your duds, your weekly pickups, who did great last week, who did bad last week, who's got good matchups coming up next week, you know those types of things. Right now... Um, we don't really have any free agents to pick up because your draft is coming up this week or you should have had it. I've got, you know, like nine articles on the IBN website. But um, so I kind of want to give you a little intro of what we're going to be doing this year, keep it a little different. And um, really the only free agents to talk about right now are the ones that aren't on teams because there's a lot out there. Jose Batista, Melky Cabrera. I know Carlos Gonzalez just signed with the Rockies. He may start out in the minor leagues and then come up, of course. But um, if you've got the number one pick in the draft this year, who are you taking? Um, some names that come to mind are Mike Trout, Jose Altuve, Nolan Arenado, or would it be crazy to take Clayton Kershaw or uh, Max Scherzer at the top pick? Um, I kind of think it would be Kershaw or Scherzer. And honestly, I think Arenado is going to have the best season of any of those names. But Mike Trout's your number one pick. He's got the most value out of anybody that I've listed there. There's plenty of top uh, three, third baseman, three Bs out there, but no one's going to give you the the uh, overall value that Mike Mike Trout is. But, you know, this week I had my big money uh, week for my fantasy draft. Both Kershaw went, I think he went number five. Then I had number nine. I went with Scherzer. And so I don't think it's crazy to take a, take a pitcher in the top ten, a starting pitcher, especially if it's going to be a stud. Right now I got my top five starting pitchers. I got Kershaw, Kluber, Sale, Scherzer and Verlander. And I was real close on the Verlander is Zach Greinke. A lot of people are down on Greinke this year, but I really think Arizona is going to have a better year than most people think. And uh, and Greinke's going to be up there. Um, you know, of course, Madison Bumgarner, he would have been in the top five until he came up with that injury. If he's going to miss two months, I mean, he's draftable, maybe, you know, fourth, fifth round. But if he's going to start on your DL and you can pick up somebody else, then that's great. He's definitely going to... Uh, help your team down the line. I mean, the seasons are won and lost, really, in free agency and rounds like four through seven. Everybody knows who your top guys are going to be or if you got keepers from last year or whatnot. And um, some five guys who I think are really going to help you out in the later rounds. It's uh, Yonder Alonso, Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin Gonzalez, he has the ability to play, I think, and Yahoo, where I play mine, every single position. I mean, you stick them in utility and your shortstop's got a day off. You know, you plug them into shortstop, stick someone else in utility. Third base, second base, outfield. At the moment, he's got all of them. Gio Gonzalez, he's somebody who's extremely underrated. As a guy who's got Washington going to the World Series this year and playing against the Indians, I think the entire Washington staff needs to be owned. Um, Doolittle's got a little uh, injury concerns there as the closer, but their entire starting rotation needs to be owned. Eugenio Suarez, or Eugenio, as the uh, Marty Brenneman likes to call him. Third baseman from the Reds. Um, he's had a monster year last year, and the Reds' offense really isn't as bad as people think. It's just their starting pitcher last year was so young, and their bullpen just heart, heart, hot trash fire. I mean, it's just garbage. And Salvador Perez, if your name's not Buster Posey or Gary Sanchez, like no one really cares about catchers, right? But Salvador Perez is, he's a guy to, to own and he's being way underdrafted. Some guys who are being overrated in my opinion, Christian Yelich. I mean, what, what has he done to make you think that he's so awesome? Except his name's Christian Yelich, especially going up to Milwaukee this year. Roberto Ozuna, I think, uh, Relief pitchers are way overrated. I mean, if you got you got like top two, three closers on your squad and you're always going to win, you know, saves and maybe whip and ERA, stuff like that, but you're never going to get the Ks. But it depends what strategy you're going for. You know, if you've got some sluggers with the home runs and the steals and you want to win um, with saves and ERA and whip, and that's how you're going to get, uh, you know, if you're playing – uh, head to head, ten categories. You want to win six every week, and that's a strategy. Then that's fine. But I really think you can get some some quality closers later on in the draft. And he's going, you know, top two, three rounds. It's ridiculous. He's not even the best closer on the best team. I mean, Krimble's way better. Doolittle's way better. Cody Allen from the Indians. I mean, Andrew Miller from the Indians getting drafted higher than Cody Miller. Uh, Cody Allen. I got about 10 seconds left to hit five minutes. I'm going to say Corey Seager, Alex Bregman, and Tommy Pham are being way 
overdrafted. I hit my five minutes. IBM Sports Wrap, we're out.